Tesla has more corner cases, which means disengagements, accidents, uh, information like that, than all the other companies in the world combined. And I have to tell you, watching the breakthroughs in AI that we are seeing, they are astounding, the, the speed at which this is moving. Right. Uh, so it is interesting. I think it's a data issue. Autonomous taxi platforms uh, are the biggest AI project in the world, and therefore we think Tesla is the but you have sold player. you've sold Tesla shares and it's so, you know it used to be the number one holding I believe mm -hmm. in your in your ETF it's now number three you've sold yes. about 20 million shares yes why so um, well whenever it goes up it was up uh, about 150 percent relative to our other names many of which had not moved so we will all, always um, uh, recycle that way take profits and uh, I would also say, listening to Elon on the last conference call, he's very concerned about the economy, mm. as we are. Kathy, will, will, you, will I look outside five years from now and see GM and Ford EVs everywhere? It's very interesting to hear both of them pull back saying, but do you I think I, I, with this new way, I, I think I don't even know if we'll be talking about GM so and Ford in five years. What is interesting about the news that both of them are pulling back for profitability reasons, they can't be profitable in this space unless they scale. That's how this That's works. It's a catch-22. So it's catch-22, and their shareholder base is very internal combustion engine oriented, and they want their profits now, and they want their dividends now. Uh, and they don't want that kind so of investment losses. So how are they going to do it? Will they be able to? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is, back to the Tesla question, as they are pulling away, I, our market share uh, expectations for Tesla go up. Right. Tesla is not only a car company, but also a tech company, a battery company, a solar company, and a space company. The automakers have a vision to create a sustainable future for humanity, by pursuing multiple projects and ventures to achieve that goal. But how does Tesla make money from all of those activities, and how does that affect its stock price and valuation? Well, today, we're going to reveal the secrets behind Tesla's business model and revenue streams, and how they impact its stock price and valuation. Let's get started with Katie Wood, a seasoned investor and stock market specialist. You mentioned AI, let's just keep, stay on that topic. Um, I look at your largest holdings, uh, in your main ARC fund, uh, I see Tesla, Coinbase, Roku, Zoom. I know you've talked about Tesla and AI, NVIDIA and AI, but d describe AI's exposure in your portfolio. Where, where, does, it, where does it help other than uh, Tesla, which you've talked about before, NVIDIA? Look at all these other ones we've got here, Twilio, Roblox, Unity, uh, some of the other ones, uh, Block as well. Speak about it broadly yes. and what uh, you're, where, where it fits in here. Sure, most of the stocks, in our portfolios are there because we've used an AI lens. Now, um, we wrote a paper called Investing in Artificial Intelligence, Where Will Equity Value Surface? Um, it's on arc-funds.com. Uh, now, uh, I think many people feel comfortable. They're on the right horses, the mega cap tech companies or the Magnificent Seven, one of which is Tesla. So we clearly agree with that one. Uh, we are not sure when it comes to the others. Uh, we think that AI is going to be highly disruptive, is going to disintermediate some of these platforms, not all of them, and that it may be the, the worst thing that has happened to, uh, to, to a company like Google. Google, um, if I can go to ChatGPT and just get an answer right away and not be bothered with links and advertisements, I might do that. Well, guess what? Google is responding and now giving me answers. So it could be the best thing that happened to Google. We don't know. All I know is that when there are major changes in platforms, um, especially user interfaces, now that we're thinking about glasses and other wearables, um, the, the, the winners of the last round in technology typically are not the winners in the next round. So we're on guard in that regard. And we know that most large cap portfolio managers own all of these. Our portfolios are a highly diversified way to participate in artificial intelligence. For every dollar in hardware that companies spend on artificial intelligence, 
Tesla recently recorded its worst performance on Wall Street this year, which has kept the stock market buzzing, but analysts warn that Tesla's investors should brace themselves for a long and exciting ride. The longtime Tesla investor, Kathy Wood remains bullish on Tesla, saying prior to Tesla's latest earnings call that she's seen Elon Musk with his back against the wall before, and he still triumphed, so this won't be any different. But why has Kathy Wood said this? Kathy Wood, the CEO of our invest, has long been a staunch fan of Tesla. The financial expert stayed optimistic even as other investors lost faith in Tesla. Kathy W. also believes that Tesla will revolutionize the auto industry, which is evident given that Tesla is ARK's largest holding and continues to be so to this day. The truth is that Wood's theory on Tesla and its potential bounce back may be tested sooner rather than later. And as a result, we can only ask, will Katie Wood still maintain her bullishness on Tesla or are things about to take a drastic turn? Kathy Wood believes that Tesla is on the verge of huge success, which will have a significant impact on the company's stock price. According to her, there are various variables that could cause Tesla's stock price to rise in the future, including the automaker's expansion ambitions into sectors such as robotics. AI and power concerns about demand are the most recent catalyst for the decline in EV stocks, especially since massive production capacities are planned by legacy AO makers and have been around for quite some time now, for example. Both Ford and GM have toned down their aggressive EV expansion plans, but FSD could potentially give Tesla an advantage already the price wall initiated by Tesla is working to the detriment of other EV companies. Automakers such as Lucid Neo Ford and Zhang Motors are among those with lower car prices, seen steady, which they have brought down after Tesla slash prices for its own models. Meanwhile, Tesla is optimistic that it can survive by selling cars at zero profit and then making up the difference through autonomous take, such as with full self-drive. According to the investor, during a period of deflation, these companies will have to sell their commodities at a discounted price or risk incurring significant losses, but this will not be the case for Tesla. According to recent news, the Cybertruck will be equipped with an 800-volt architecture when it begins delivery soon, which will enable faster charging and better MAR margins for Tesla as it will reduce the cost and weight of the battery pack. Additionally, according to Elon Musk, the Cybertruck recently underwent bulletproof testing with a Tommy gun. Muson X's video shows the Cybertruck's windows and body deflecting bullets fired by the pistol. These updates could boost Tesla's competitive advantage and profitability in the Cybertruck and electric vehicle market as a whole, and they could demonstrate the durability and innovation of the Cybertruck and generate more hype and demand for the vehicle. Although Tesla is currently regarded as the largest EV manufacturer globally, it is important to note that its EVs are still growing. Tesla also expanded the number of testers from 2,000 to 10,000. The FSD beta software enables Tesla vehicles to navigate city streets, make turns, and handle complex traffic situations without any human intervention. See, in the long run, this could positively affect Tesla's stock price, as it could reflect its strong growth in the European region, which is one of the largest and fastest growing for EV, and it could show Tesla is also making substantial headway in its battery and solar businesses, which, according to Katie Wood, may turn Tesla into a multi-trillion dollar firm over the next five to 10 years. Ops are environmentally friendly, and a big draw of them is their effect on the environment while driving. Therefore, if the electricity consumed by a vehicle is produced by nuclear, hydro, solar, or wind sources, the vehicle emits no pollutants, which is often the opposite for fossil-fueled powered electricity sources. LFP batteries are cheaper and safer than nickel-based ones that Tesla is currently using for some vehicles. These batteries have a longer lifespan and are suitable for long-distance driving. Tesla can efficiently produce LFP batteries. It will be able to lower the price of some of its other materials and thus increase its margins. This will also improve Tesla's competitive edge and appeal in the world's largest EV market. Imagine how much this will positively affect Tesla stock price in the future.